I am not sure even why I am making this video and if it's if it's okay to make it when it originates from a point of invasion of my privacy and disturbance of my body but since I'm already making it then whatever <sighs> for several years now the evil creature is trying to make me do 67 first it was trying to make me do 67 for intimacy with Emma Watson and just yesterday it was suggesting that I should do 67 to receive a foot job and you know it's I really don't have any patience or tolerance for that sheer stupidity like does it really look like I'm going to plan what training program to use based on with whom I'm going to get intimacy or whether I get a foot job or a blow job or whatever it even goes beyond that I have developed severe rejection of Emma Watson after being tortured for Emma Watson for several years and therefore do not seek intimacy with them so now it's trying to attack me from a different angle from the angle of a foot job I don't plan my training to receive a foot job from someone give me a break and even more so and the 67 method is significantly a more advanced level than what I am using today and telling me to rush to a more advanced level just so some woman could play with my private area with her feet feels like another attempt to humiliate me and put me down I don't understand why does the creature always seek to humiliate me why am I being expected to rush my training progression to receive some woman's feet why am I being put in that position why is it being even suggested to me why is there always a need to humiliate me to put me down to insult me why 
It's not done to anybody else, only to me. What am I being hated or something? And for what? What have I done? Anyway, since it won't fuck off with the 67, and you know also, in one of his posts, in an indirect manner, Rishi Sunak also suggested the 67. And it's obviously directed to me, because you see, nobody except for me is even doing any of that stuff. But si since they won't fuck off with the 67, let's talk about the 67. The 67... asks for significantly more volume per session than what I am doing today. Significantly more. I will not tell, I will not say how much because I am not here to educate people about those secret programs that were a real pain to discover for me. I'm not going to make their work easier, but it's enough that I will say that it's significantly more volume than the free guy program that I am doing today. Now, more volume I am not talking about more volume per week, I am talking about per session. It can be per week also, but it's specifically per session. So more volume per session. It means two things. First, significantly more heat generation. The more volume you add, the more heat you generate. And the second thing it means is that you'd be using smaller weights. But even if you use smaller weights, you will still generate more heat. because of the increased volume. Yes, the increase in the volume is that significant. And now, even without that increased volume, when there is 13 degrees Celsius outside, and this is also the room temperature, because I don't have air conditioning of any sort in my training balcony. And it's also raining outside. It's pretty cold by most people's standards. And I am training almost naked. And I am still sweating. Enough for my shorts to become wet after each session. Now imagine if I was to increase the volume even further. I'd be sweating way harder. I would be fucking overheating. Because you see, I suspect that for the 67, in order to do it reliably, 
you need some really powerful air conditioner that can or some cooling system that can bring the temperature the temperature levels to very low degrees because the volume of the 67 is so large that it generates so much heat that unless you have a really really reliable cooling system you are in danger of overheating even in the winter yes unless maybe you you live in a country where where it's snowing outside and it's minus something degrees and it's like really really cold then it could be fine but what about the summer then you cannot possibly do it in the summer you'd like you'd not just overheat you'd super overheat So what I'm supposed to like do something that's completely unreasonable, I unreasonable, illogical. So I'm going to to overheat my entire system and like suffer really badly, possibly even damage my health in order to receive a foot job from some women or have intimacy with Emma Watson. Does that make any sense? I am so sick and tired of that shit. This is the first and foremost reason to really wait before doing 67. The overheating fucking thing. In order to do the 67 reliably, you need a reliable cooling fucking system. No cooling, no 67. The 67 poses very high danger of overheating even in the fucking winter. You need a cooling system, a very good and reliable cooling system to do the 67. That's the first and foremost thing. Now for my second point. The second point is not nearly as as critical as the first one, but it is still significant nonetheless. You see, when you lift weights, you obviously want them to be heavy, right? Especially if you're a man, you want the weights to be significant. But with the significantly increased volume of the 67, you'd be using smaller weights. Which is fine if you're already super strong. What does it matter if you can squat like half a ton and, and you reduce that weight a little, you're still super strong. But on the other, then it's fine, but on the other hand, what if you're like me, someone who was fooled into endurance training for the past year and a half and has only just begun recovering himself, recovering his strength, from that sheer stupidity that he was doing earlier. In other words, a weak person. Yes, right now I'm relatively a weak person. I'm not strong by any means. I don't lift weights that, that anyone would consider heavy. Why? Because I was fooled into endurance training by that first 
first episode of the 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 TV show called The Flash, where they said that it's more important to have a strong heart than strong legs. So I, I was fooled into endurance training. And therefore, right now, I am weak. I lift weights that are pretty light. I do get stronger, yes, but it takes time. There is no way that I am going to become super strong within a manner of weeks. It takes years. Now, the 67 requires you to reduce the weights even further. Because it increases the volume. So tell me, does that make sense to you? To tell a person who is already weak, who is already lift, lifting small weights, to lift weights that are even yet smaller? Does that make any fucking sense? Obviously not. So... The weights that you lift, they obviously have to be as heavy as possible. And to someone who is just starting, and he lifts weights that are really small, to tell him to lift weights that are even yet smaller and obviously less manlier, just to... To receive a foot job from some woman or, 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 or for intimacy with Emma Watson. To do this self-undoing. Self-undoing. In order to either receive a foot job or to be intimate with Emma Watson. Does that make any sense? Obviously it doesn't. So what now in order to receive a foot job and in order to be intimate with Emma Watson. I'm supposed to do... Two retarded things. First, I am expected to overheat the shit out of my system. And you know, overheating doesn't work for, for anybody well. Not for a computer, not for a car, and not for a human being. Overheating is not a good thing. So I am expected to overheat myself. And also to, to, to lift smaller weights to become weaker. Or even more weak than I'm already weak already. So, so to get a foot job and to be intimate with Emma Watson, the creature is telling me that you should become a this weak person who overheats the shit out of of himself and sweats really, really hard to achieve basically nothing. I am so sick and tired of that creature and it's illogical shit, you know, it's illogical, it's it's dumb, it's stupid, it's retarded and, and I wouldn't be making this fucking video if it wouldn't fuck off with a fucking 67 you, and you know I keep re-evaluating it because it simply won't fuck off with a 67 but no matter how many times I seek think about the 67 over and over again, the same conclusions arise, that it's a very stupid idea at this point, doing 67. You would want a very good cooling system, and you'd want a very strong fucking body lifting heavy fucking weights. You would not do it when you're just starting to work on your strength, when you're lifting, lifting the CC weights that I am lifting at the present, and you would definitely not do it in a hot country like Israel without a super cooling system.